picture makes me very happy. Let's have this cover the entire thing. There, that's good enough. All right, so how many people we got here? I can't start until we have at least 700 people. Always clicks the wrong thing. Not nearly enough. You people aren't good enough for me. I need at least, you need to all invite 20 friends, and then they all need to invite like a dying animal, and then we no, okay, I don't know. So yeah, um, let me just go ahead and kind of explain this before I start the game. I'm gonna probably have to repeat this many times, but that's okay. Um, I saw the reveal. No, I have no idea. I I, I didn't know. Okay, so yeah, let's let me, let's explain the timeline here while Banjo snores. Um, so. Last night, okay, more accurately, um, the past few days, I was, uh, I found out that there were leaks saying that Banjo was probably going to happen, and, um, I didn't want to believe them, because I figured that if they're wrong again, which they probably are, I'm going to get super depressed, and I don't want to do that to myself, because my stance has always basically been, I really want Banjo, but I don't think he's likely. Because when you cut, when you really get down to it, he is a fan favorite from '90s kids that hasn't had a good game since 2000. Like Nuts and Bolts was okay, but people didn't really like it. And so he's basically as dead as like Gex is a good comparison. And so I didn't really think it was going to happen. Um, but I've been following the thread, and everybody's super sure it's going to happen, but there's always this doom and gloom whenever, like, the slightest setback happens, so there's always stuff like um, people were expecting an announcement at the Microsoft conference, it didn't happen, everybody's like, oh my god, it's not happening, it's, uh, why, why is this happening to me? And it was just, it was annoying to fucking put up with, but I kept reading it anyway. And so, then, last night, I couldn't fall asleep because I was freaking stressing out over it stressing out over it, and I woke up at, like, 10.30 or whatever it was, started the, or, no, I think it was, like, 9.30, uh, started the stream, and for anyone who didn't see it, which is probably most people, um, I, I was streaming Smash for about 40 minutes, and then it got up to the direct, it was doing, like, the countdown, like, the numbers leading up to the direct starting, and it crashed during the countdown. My computer just freaking died out of nowhere. So I turn it back on, immediately start the stream back up, get the video up. It's halfway through the Dragon Quest like character trailer. I still don't know what to call him. I guess it's just Hero. Um, so I'm like, okay, um, I guess we're getting Erdrick or whatever. And I kind of expected that to be the case. There had been people basically saying like we might get a double reveal, but I wasn't counting on it. So... I'm like, whatever, he looks okay. I didn't get to see the trailer, but I've been kind of accepting this and i'm like i like sword fighters he might use magic and stuff i didn't even know yet at the time so whatever uh and then like a few minutes later the stream dies again so i start the computer back up and i reset it and like put it put everything back on and i catch like a few more minutes of the stream and it died during the mario and sonic part and this time when it died it uh it like the fan was going really really loud even after the computer shut off. So I'm like, okay, something's fucky here. Let's maybe not turn the computer back on. I don't want it to blow up. So this sucks, but I'll just watch the rest of the stream on my own. So I take my phone. I go into the bedroom with it. I'm just laying down. I watch like a couple minutes. I catch like whatever, what was the last thing before the, tr I think it was like the Animal Crossing bit. I didn't even, I wasn't even really paying attention. And then the trailer comes on. And so I see the intro, like the DK opening. The moment I freaking see that shit, I'm like, okay, this is this has got to be it. There's no other way it could be anything else. Because <laughs> it's like, it's leading up to it. You have the Donkey Kong K rule. I'm like, they're doing a rare callback. There's no way this is anything else. Jiggy bounces in. I start tearing up. And I was basically just a fucking mess for the next hour. I'm not, I, I was seriously crying so fucking hard over this reveal. 
like I, I already posted this in uh in the discord a couple times but let me let me find the image um like i i don't know if i should be proud of this necessarily but um there, let me i never actually saved the image anymore um fucking come on i don't know if this is like showing up on stream properly i doubt it is So, where we go? Desktop. So yeah, this was me. This was me for about an hour. My eyes were extremely puffy. I was like standing in the bathroom sobbing, like using half a roll of toilet paper over this goddamn character reveal. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, I, I, it, it, I was a fucking mess. So... After that, I am like, okay, I got to do something. I got to stream something, but I don't want to, uh, I don't want to risk ruining the computer. So I gave it some time. I watched Vinny's reaction. I cried again. <laughs> and now we're going to start this. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get the game going. Did I smash any shelves? No, no. Cause I'm not on like crystal meth. So I've not seen anything in this game other than the first uh, couple minutes just for testing it. So the one thing I know in this is that uh, I heard apparently you don't really get any moves for a long time, which sounds kind of lame, but we'll see how that goes. Um, I don't know what the Gen 8 controversy is, so I can't respond to that really. Yeah, this is a full ROM hack of Magic is okay. I've seen this text and that's about it. Because when I loaded this on a different version of Project 64, the text wouldn't display. I had to use a newer version. But yeah, at this point, like... My... My number one reason for wanting them in Smash is the hope of it re like rekindling an interest in the series and getting a sequel. But even if that doesn't happen, it's still basically my favorite video game characters in my favorite series, so I'm happy with that. And in terms of like what we would get for the next DLC, I don't give a shit. Like I would I would be happy paying $25 for the Fighters Pass and getting Banjo and four like pieces of shit. Like just nothing that I give a shit about. So yeah, we can't go in here. Um, but yeah, my most wanted's now that I've got Banjo. I mean, Plock would be cool, but in terms of realistic things, uh, Minecraft Steve I'm still fine with. Uh, Spyro would be cool. I don't expect Undertale because that would be extremely unrealistic, but technically I would like that. And um, I said like Lara Croft maybe. There's really not that many other third-party characters I care about. Alright, so let's see what we're doing here. Gino would be cool. I've, I've, give, I've basically... Like, I don't expect Gino to ever happen. But... Like... Banjo's already kind of stretching it in terms of, like... Known by people... Like that didn't grow up with the game. Gino's like a side character in one game from 1996. I don't honestly think he has much of a chance. Okay, so anyway, what's this now? Um, they don't exist in... What doesn't exist in Gen 8? Not letting you transfer any non galar decks Pokemon. Really? That's a thing? Yeah, that does sound pretty lame. I've, I'd not heard of that before. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. But, oh well. I'll worry about that later. Let's just be happy for Banjo now and 
play the new game. Okay, we have climbing. We still don't have good jumping. Yampir. The new... I don't know what these things are. I didn't see any of the Pokemon coverage from the... from E3. Yeah, jump is an ability. When you uh, start a new game in Banjo-Kazooie, you have um, this one shitty jump that, like, doesn't go anywhere, and that's it. You have to earn your other abilities by talking to bottles, and usually you can just... Like, he gives you the option of, um, like, you can either go around and learn them all, or you can say, like, I'm good, just give them all at once. But, uh, yeah, here it didn't do that. Doggo and a little imp fella. I kind of want to avoid Pokemon info, but I'll probably end up seeing those at some point. And yeah, I'm hoping for a remaster. I mean, obviously my number one goal would be a sequel, but... That's probably a little bit out of the realm of possibility. Having a, like, either Rare Replay or, like, just the two Banjo games, like, the 360 versions or, like, Upscaled or whatever, put on the Switch would be a start. A Spyro or Crash Bandicoot-style complete rehaul would be amazing. But at the end of the day, it's still a re-release of games I've played a million times, so it's, like, I'd get them to support the series, but it wouldn't be my, like final end goal. What if Banjo shit tear? Eh. Oh, right, I'm using the wall. Okay. So I'm gonna be getting the rat attack rat before having the better jump. That's weird. Now, is it going to give me a second uh, honeycomb for killing this? Or not a second one, but yeah. Okay. I guess that's like hard-coded or something. Alright, so how do I get... Oh, you can just walk through that. Okay. I would like a better jump. That would be nice. Dragon Quest did get overshadowed. I mean, it all it also depends, like, what's the plot of this? I don't know. <laughs> like, I actually made a topic on Game Facts because, like, the people who don't care about Banjo are being, like, super fucking annoying about it. And to be fair, some of the people who do like Banjo are also kind of gloating. So it's like Neither side is really guilt-free, but from my perspective, it basically just seems like anybody who doesn't like the original games or never played them is, like, pissed off that this old irrelevant character got in, so they're, like, taking it out on everybody else, and it's... it's really annoying. So, like, my thing is... I, uh... Okay, I guess we're going here. Um... Like, I've never played Persona or Dragon Quest. I probably never will. I'm still fine with their characters getting in. Like, yeah, they're not... Oh, okay. They're not my number one picks, but, like, they're still fine. Like, Hero looks kind of neat. He looks like another Robin, sort of, and I like Robin a lot, so I'm gonna have to see how he works. So I did notice that, um... The number above that other note door was just 7. Like, not 70 or anything like that. It was literally just 7. So I'm guessing my current goal is just find 7 notes. Look out for me. I'm an extra life. Uh, 
Uh, he looks like he's gonna play like a Fire Emblem character, but not a Marth Roy Lucina Krom. He's more of a Robin. And falling and dying. Falling and dying. Okay. Well, I've got my seven. It looks like he has this weird mechanic with, like, cycling between magic spells. I'm not sure how that's gonna work. But I'm interested to try it out. There's another mumbo token. I still think it's weird that his name is just Hero, but... Alright. <laughs> Because, uh, to my understanding, they don't really have canonical names. I'm not really sure where Erdrick came from then, but... Eh. I still think it's stupid that they call Pokemon Trainer what they do, because they could have easily just said Rat or Leaf, but... It is what it is. Yeah, this is, a uh, kind of an annoying section. How long does the shitty part of the game where you have no moves last? Alright, I think I got everything from here. God, now I'm just remembering there's this, uh, part from, uh, Strong Bad Email where, I think it was, it was, I don't remember if it was an email or if it was a different cartoon, but, uh, they called, um, like, Strong Bad just called Strong Sad Dairy Queen. He's like, oh, I told you to stop calling me that. That was a mistake. So I think I'm going to start calling the new character Dairy Queen. I'm sure nobody else has made this joke, even though I've already seen many other people make this joke. Uh, hold on, what are we being responding to? I don't know if they're actually my favorite video game characters, but they're definitely up there. Banjo, Banjo himself is kind of bland, because he's mostly just the, like, happy-go-lucky, I'll do heroic stuff and just kind of, like, be a dope type of character. Kazooie is amazing, though, because she's, like, ridiculously sarcastic and does not give a shit. <laughs> and... Um, the games are fun, and I like all the weird secrets and, like, conspiracy behind Stop and Swap, and yeah, I just kind of grew up with them, so it's just kind of something that I'll, it'll always just kind of be, like, close to me. Can we make this jump? Well, we can fall. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this. I have seven notes. I could probably go back and go in that other door. Uh, I've also beaten Nuts and Bolts. I never really played Grunty's Revenge other than a single Let's Try for like a half an hour. And Banjo Pilot is just like, whatever. <laughs> Again, there's... There, I don't know. There was no cutscene. I can't tell you what the plot is. How do I get out of here? Plot is literally toilet magic. I can't probably. Okay, let's... I'm gonna go ahead and leave. Um... So each world's only 25 notes. You do have to recollect the ones you found. Alright. I was, I was assuming it still kept that mechanic, but I wasn't sure. Um. Okay, I guess Logo is the new Grunty. Anyway, let's go ahead and go in here. I don't think I can swim yet. Yeah, no.
Yeah, I'm still kind of in disbelief about the whole thing. Um, this is probably how people who actually care about Final Fantasy felt when Cloud was revealed. Because I don't give a crap about that series, but even I was like, oh my god, like, they actually did that. It's like, it's still kind of surreal thinking about it. Anyway, um, there's a possibility I'll eventually go back to uh, Nuts and Bolts. It's just never really been high on my priorities. Second pick for DLC. Honestly, it's probably Steve. I know that a lot of people hate him, and he's not the most exciting pick, but I think that they could make an interesting move set out of Minecraft stuff. And the other thing is, like, a lot of people complain about, uh, like, the art style not meshing, but that's kind of what I like about Smash, is bringing together a bunch of characters that don't really work that well together and still making it work anyway. So, like, I just think it would be weird. Okay, do I go in this door? Or what am I doing? What the hell? Okay. I don't know where I'm going. I guess over here. I am finding things and then not going in them. I need to stop doing that. But yeah, like I said, at this point, I'm more than happy with letting other people get their favorites. So if they bring in characters from series that I know nothing about, that's fine. Like, toss them a bone. So far, the level design here has been kind of uh, questionable. Basically looking for molehills, and knowing how uh, observant I am, we might be a while, so... For the people who have played this, I guess, uh, if you want to lead me in the right direction, if I'm bumbling around too much, I'm fine with that. Anyway, Mario Maker 2 is cool. I haven't looked at any of the trailers or gameplay other than that original, like, direct on it, but, uh, I mean, I'm gonna get it. I'll enjoy watching, uh, Carl and Pooh play it, at least. Uh, there was an announcement saying they're gonna be bringing in, like, proper online multiplayer in an update, right? Oh, um, yeah, my my pick for the stage would have been, um, Click Clock Wood. I kind of figured they were probably gonna go with Spiral Mountain, just because it's the first level and it's the recognizable one, but, uh, Click Clock Wood would have been cool. That's okay, though. I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be picky because it's still like they got in and that's good enough for me. Yeah, the music seems pretty nice, and this is a good camera angle. Okay, how do I get? Is this okay? I honestly have no idea where I'm going. Like this is. Not being able to jump more than two inches is annoying, and I really hope that I get that soon. Also, I don't think I need this Mumbo token, but it's not going to stop me from trying to get it. I don't think there's going to be an update to World of Light. If you're talking about the Darkon thing, that's probably just, like... It was just kind of part of the... Like story behind his trailer, I guess. Like, every trailer kind of has, like, a little bit of, like, a... not really a story, but, like, a vibe that it, it goes with. I don't know what I'm saying. Whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I can get anywhere.
I could try to jump across these, but I feel like that's not gonna work. Yeah, I saw the Breath of the Wild 2 thing. It's... I'm not sure what to think about that yet. I still haven't really played that much of the first game, because my completionism doesn't allow me to. Plus, I keep telling myself that uh, if I do go back to it, then all it's going to be doing is distracting me from stuff that I should be doing instead. So, I've just kind of not wanted to. Anyway, here's the better jump. What music tracks would I like to see? I mean, really most of them, but... Uh, Cloud Cuckoo Land, Grunty Industries. Grunty Industries wouldn't fit the Spiral Mountain stage. But just in terms of, like, what songs I like the best. Grunty's Lair, the battle against Grunty from the first game. I don't know. There's really no bad songs. There's some that are a little bit less impressive, but all of them are pretty good. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, backflip. I'm not paying attention to the text. Yeah, I'm using Project 64. Okay, so I think I have most of the Spiral Mountain moves. I'm still missing swimming. But I think I have all the other ones. I play on keyboard. I'm not using a controller. If I ever do use a controller, it's usually for the 360, but I prefer keyboard in most cases. Shock jump, not a, not something I expected to see here. I did hear about the ukulele sequel. I didn't see anything of it, but I heard that it's kind of it has like a tropical freeze vibe to it. It's like a 2D platformer. I know people weren't too crazy about the first game. I thought it was, like, alright, but not the best thing ever. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. Because I'd like that to not happen. The real question is how I'm going to be playing the game in general, because, uh... I still don't have my own Switch, and I don't really want to spend money on one, because I kind of feel like I need to be saving money as much as possible. I spent too much on the stupid beanie collection, and now I have to, like, make up for it. Eh, shit. So what I should do immediately, then, is buy all the Banjo, all the banjo merch that I can, because I know they released, like, some, like, a new figure and, like, some pins and stuff, and they'll have the amiibo, so I'll spend at least a few hundred dollars on that. And then I'll be like, well, can't afford the Switch. Is that a thing up there I can reach? Well, it's, I mean, it's because I still have a way of playing it. If I didn't, then yeah, I'd want to get it, but... How much I... Uh... Not much. <laughs> I don't really good have a good answer for that. Um... Maybe, like... Uh, like, it, it, it's not worth as much as I spent on it, let's say that much. couple hundred. Yeah, I remember the one where he had to sell blood. Wasn't that the one where he got a bunch of weird jobs, like testing batteries, and I don't even remember. It's been so long since I've seen that show. Well, let's see. I have a PVC print up. Uh, I have a PVC pellet princess that I bought for like 20 bucks. So she'll say that that one's worth at least like 125 unless she thinks that like the plastic deflated or whatever the fuck. Um 
I have Claude, which is worth three bucks, but she thinks is like 30. The list could continue, but I won't. Any more notes in here? I guess I shouldn't worry too much about collecting notes, because I'm going to have to come back and redo all these levels anyway. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I don't really get the Wooloo love either. Like, I think it's cute, and it's not a bad design, but it is just kind of a shape. Latest corruption scream? No, I don't think I did. I hope I find a part where I get stuck on geometry like I did in Ticker's Tower that one time. Yeah, I haven't played Tomodachi in a long time, and I kind of have a reason for that, but I'm debating if I want to go back to it. I kind of do. Okay, let's not die. That would be bad. Wait, was this just a no Okay. See, I skipped this because I thought this was a doorway leading somewhere else, but alright. I guess that's it for this area. Ampharos is a sheep with all of its wool off, but it's also, like, dragon-esque. Because its Japanese name is Denryu, and Ryu is dragon. I don't know, Ampros is weird, but I like it. It's one of my favorites from Gen 2. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to avoid some safe state abuse, but it's like, eh, whatever. I really need to get health back. I would like to uh, find some way to do that. I think there was a, like, a beehive around here somewhere, I don't even remember. Yeah, there we go. Glad that trick still works. Okay, where do I want to be going? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get Spyro. I was close to getting it on PS4, and I've not played a single thing on the PS4. So now that it's coming on Switch, then heck yeah, I'm getting it. Anyway, um, any recommendations where I go next? Because I'm not sure if I want to go back and check that first area again, or if I should keep going here. You know what else I said I was going to get and then didn't? Undertale on Switch. Mainly because I still don't have one. And I don't want to, like, buy a bunch of random shit on Joel's because that would be weird. Oh, cool. Is there anything behind that? Favorite Pokemon is Spiritomb. There's five notes in each numbered door, ten in the main area. Okay. So, three numbered doors in each place, because it's 25 for each level. Alright. Well, I wasn't paying attention to how many I got. Oh, hello, clown vomit. I've got nine now, so yeah. And there was... Let me get back up to that place I was earlier. Um, that's really hard for me to say. I feel like they are still good, good games, and tui has been getting a lot of hate in the last few years. Like, I used to like Tui better. I 
now it's I, I I've been like leaning towards the original, but I kind of like them about the same now. I think Kazooie is better for like a quick playthrough because you can finish that game in like five hours. Um, obviously, speedrunners can do it faster, but like it's not that hard to finish. Two is a lot more of a bigger investment. Why did I jump all the way down? What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> um. But um, in terms of like if they're still good by modern standards, I can't say because I just. I, I mean, I felt that ukulele wasn't that bad either, and people complained about that one because like it's too old school or whatever. It's like okay, that's kind of what they were going for. Can I grab this? Yeah. I need the ground pound to finish the level. That's just an extra life. I feel like they probably wouldn't do a gender swap scan. That would be weird. something over this way, and I don't remember if I fully explored it. Oh, this just leads back to the beginning, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's just leave. What skins will they add? I mean, just kind of the usual shit they do for most characters. Like, there'll be one where he has green fur, and then Kazooie is purple. Or, like, one where he's orange and she's yellow. Like, it's just, usually they don't put that much thought into the skins, I feel. The only thing I'm a little disappointed by is uh, the fact that their DLC means that they're not going to get assist trophies, because I'd love to see Mumbo as an assist, but uh, that's alright. Dragon Kazooie? Maybe. Or they could do one with, uh, give him, make him look like a polar bear, it'd be like a boggy reference. Well, yeah, but I mean, the Pokemon Trainer ones have, like, something to go off of. There aren't really other characters that they could do palette swaps for, I feel. Okay, that's just straight up a Gruntilda rhyme with no change to it. I, I like how I'm just... I take three steps and then backtrack. That, that's apparently how I play this game. Oh, and we've got treasure trove instruments. I don't expect that, no. It would be cool, but I don't expect it. On the subject of that, though, that's another thing besides the Mumbo Assist Trophy. Uh, Gruntilda, either as a boss or as a Mr. Rossetti-style assist that just shows up and fills the screen with, like, random text talking about nonsense. That would be pretty great. What officially happened to Tootie? According to Nuts and Bolts, she got arrested by the rubbish video- the, the rubbish characters in video games, police. And I like to believe that that's canon. Anyway, I guess we're going in here. Again, we don't know why he's on this adventure. I think we're- I think we just need to be fine with it not having a reason. Pants is an assist trophy. What the hell would he do? Yeah, 2D was a rubbish character. Like, that's why she got arrested. Sometimes you just gotta go on an adventure. Also, the game is called Banjo Dreamy, so it's probably just a dream. 
But yeah, so far this uh, this game has been wander around and collect very, very spread out collectibles. And I have yet to see any sign of a Jiggy. So I'm kind of wondering if they're going to show up or if this is just go back and forth between the levels over and over until you have enough notes to reach the end. I've been going for 41 minutes, and probably about 10 of those were talking about technical issues. Jeggies are not in the game. You can't add them or move them around. What the hell? All right. Is this swimming? Oh, Talon's rot. Okay, well, I'm down with that. Yeah, it is the beach from the end of the game. Yeah, Banjo's backpack is the editor. Um, another thing I'm noticing, and I'm gonna keep, like, making these minor gripes, despite, like, I don't really want to be that guy that, like, complains about a ROM hack not being as good as an, an official product, because, like, no one ever said it was going to be. But, um... Other than the gameplay, I'm also noticing there's very few NPC interactions, and what there are is, like, um, either the same text as the original, or is just tutorial stuff. And seeing the characters bicker at each other was always one of the best parts of the, uh, the original game, so I'm a little disappointed in that. We'll probably want to head in there. I say as I don't go that way. It was definitely at least a good attempt, and the game might get better. But, uh, yeah, so far it's just kind of it. That's just K. Rule's crown. Okay. Now, there's ukulele in a picture, so if there's five notes in each area, I want to be getting up to eight. And they're all just kind of here. Okay, never mind. I didn't really need to worry about missing any, because this one's pretty straightforward. Did I just sink to the bottom of the pool? So here's actual new text. Oh, this isn't actually water. Oh yeah, I, I did see the dungeon editor. Um, it uh, it looks cool. Obviously, it's a little bare bones because you can only move around like pre-built rooms. You can't like make custom ones. But um. It's something I didn't expect, and it'll be neat to play around with. And I wanted to get Link's Awakening anyway, so I'll probably make some use of it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say the chances of Conquer are basically non-existent. And he would not be one of my top picks, honestly, because I never really cared about Conquer that much. But, uh, it would be interesting. Steve's like my go-to answer, but honestly, the more I think about it, I think I'd rather have Spyro. But then that would just be me picking two 3D platformer characters from the late 90s. So it's like, not exactly the most exciting answer, but I mean, I did like the Spyro games. Who do I think is the most likely? There is a leak that apparently we're getting Leon Kennedy and Lloyd Irving. I don't know 
I mean, obviously no one knows if it's true. But... I mean, I guess I can see that. Is that damage water? Because that definitely looks like damage water. Surprisingly, it's not. Yeah, Lloyd would be, like, the third sword fighter of the group. Well, I mean, Joker isn't a sword fighter, but he'd be kind of similar. So that would be a little underwhelming, but... Eh. <laughs> if, if we look at past DLC history, the trend... Or not even DLC history, just character reveals in general, there is a tendency to kind of, like, have the last ones not be that impressive. Because, like, for Smash 4 DLC, we had Cloud... And then we had Corrin and Bayonetta, who weren't as big. So I, I kind of feel like Banjo is like the USA pick, and Dragon Quest Hero is the Japan pick, that are going to be like the big favorites, and then the next ones are going to be not as like impressive, but you never know. Uh, there was no footage of the reaction. I wasn't able to stream it. Where's Europe's pick? I mean, the US and Japan are the only countries that exist. So, they don't get one. Europe allegedly got Bayonetta. Even though, I think it's been proven that she was not actually the winner and it was rigged. So, probably not actually. There's another note. Can I get up there? Game. Who was the real winner? Honestly, it was probably K. Rule. Because the ballot definitely had an impact on the ultimate newcomers. Do not have the flight pad. Oh, yeah, that, 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 that's also true. All oh, right, I'm gonna fall. Yeah, falling down. And I'm the Mike Masta. It's a disaster. I fill up my Hummer, not with gas, but Shasta. We all know that pity's a bastard, but I'm so hungry, I'd eat faster. The Spiral, Ro the Spiral Mountain remix is like god tier, by the way. I've listened to that thing several times. It's amazing. There was, like, nothing up here. What was the point of this area? <laughs> oh, okay, that's the point of this area. How do I get to that? Okay, hold on. Yeah, clown vomit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. There's me crying again. Let me close that image. I don't want that open constantly. Okay, let me, uh... 
I want to see if this, like, actually tracks collectibles. Okay, it does. It does not give names to areas, though. So, I have both of the honeycombs in place that I'm currently in. I have nothing from place I've spent six minutes in. Yeah, I don't know. Let's head over there. Possibly. Yeah, I... I'm gonna keep playing this for a while, but I am... not completely feeling this. There's a possibility I might want to just kind of switch to 2E, honestly. Because I did say I'd stream that game at some point, but uh, I figured I wanted to give this one a shot. Uh, Starman, I talked about that at the beginning of the stream. It's I was having massive technical issues. I wasn't able to stream it. I tried. Um, Mario 64 hacks are different in the sense that they have more concrete objectives usually, because, like, this is just me run going around and collecting notes wherever they happen to be, whereas, like, your average other type of hack will actually have, like, stars or whatever that are kind of, like, the objectives of getting through a section. And also, um, the movement in 64 is just kind of more fun because you can, like, wall kick and do a bunch of weird shit. Um, Banjo's a little bit more limited in that sense. It's like a... I don't think there's anything up there. I kind of want to just leave. <laughs> like, again, I, I don't know... I don't know what to do. Um, I knew it was him from the moment the thing started. As soon as it showed the Mario versus Bowser, Link versus Ganon, like thing with, like, the K. Rule intro. I'm like, there's no way it's anybody else. Yeah, I've been this way. Um. Uh, yeah, I didn't think it was gonna be Dixie. If it had been, I would have been pretty sad. Because all the leaks said Banjo, and it seemed like it was leading up to it. Like, I know Dixie's also requested, but it wouldn't have the same impact. I like how he bit me through the boat. That was good. Okay, so yeah, let's... Do I, do I want to be moving on? I don't know, like, I've said this a hundred times, I just, I don't know where to go. Like, <laughs> this, I already got this move, right? Um, I mean, I don't know if Dixie is requested to the same extent that some other stuff is, but she definitely is kind of up there. I think I think Dixie's probably, like, the most notable first-party Nintendo character that isn't in, other than, like, Toad. But, um, I think that, uh... I think that the new, like, I wouldn't even say it's a new design, it's just a more polished version of the old design, but the, the, the like, the Smash 4, the Smash 4, the ultimate model for Banjo is, like, basically perfect. There, there's no changes I would say need to be made to it. I would say Toad is more noteworthy in, than Waluigi. And that's kind of saying something, because, like, it's Toad. <laughs> like, if we have to get new Mario characters, I would say Toad and Paper Mario probably have priority over Waluigi. But Waluigi's probably going to happen at some point, just because everybody constantly is memeing about him. Okay. 
Okay, I've said it enough times, let's just freaking leave. This area doesn't seem to have anything else in it. Yeah, I, it's, I, I don't know what Waluigi would add to the table. Like, or what he'd bring to the table, rather. I feel like he'd just kind of be, like, a taller Luigi with some other weird moves thrown in. And I feel stupid saying that because, like, they can make any character interesting if they try hard enough, but... The way I usually look at characters in terms of, like, how interesting they'd be is, or just, like, when you look at a character like Villager or Mega Man, where all of their moves are kind of unique, like, Villager has, like, his up and down errors are basically the same, the back and forward errors are the same, but, like, everything else is, like, something distinct, and Mega Man's are all distinct, whereas... Other characters that are just kind of like your generic, like, here's a jump kick, here's, like, a flip. It's like, you kind of just see the same stuff in movesets over and over again, and I don't really know what Waluigi would do that would be that unique. Okay, so yeah, let's go back. grab people with his mustache. I see. To be fair, I've also not played, like, 90% of the Mario sports games. So, I know that he has, like, these weird th things that he does, like, swimming in midair. Like, I'm not aware of, like, some of his weird quirks, but yeah, it's just kind of, eh. Okay, do I want to be going back in here? I think... This way is just the starting spot, and there's nothing here, but I'm going to double check. This wasn't active before. Ah, uh, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have that much of an opinion on Luigi's Mansion 3. I never played the second one. I've only seen, like, the hour of it that Joel played. And I don't love the first game. It looks fine. It's just, it's not anything I really care about that much. Okay, so nothing back there. Yeah, this is where I'm at. Let's go into this place again. So this is like a Metroidvania, but in 3D, and where every time you leave an area and come back, you have to do everything again. And yeah, the areas are all pretty dark, that's... Again, I assume it's to do with, like, this is all a dream or something, but it's, uh, I kind of like areas to be a little bit more bright and cheerful, usually. Every level has to be windy from Conker's Bad Fur Day with the music and with, like, bouncing Mario mushrooms and exploding pancakes eating cheese. Nighttime doesn't exist, what are you talking about? I did see a video of JonTron reacting to it. I don't even remember what he said, but he was pretty happy. Have I been in here before? Uh, this seems like it's new.
I don't have the link. It's it was on like page th like 549 of the uh, Smashboards like banjo prediction thread. I know that was super helpful. Like, I'm pretty sure it was just basically, like, he had, like, a cam pointing a camera at a screen and saying that they were announced, and then he just pointed at himself, and he's just like, ah! <laughs> that was pretty much it. how I do that because the perspective here is kind of uh, leaving a bit to be desired. It's shown here, the perspective leaving a bit to be desired. I'm going to do it all out of order. Um, in what sense? Yeah, the camera is not bad. It's just there's times where I'd like to be able to manipulate it and it won't let me. Will streams, go ahead. Get the fuck up. Alright, what is it? What is this? What is this? I'm expecting one two oatmeal. So yeah, one two oatmeal. Damn it. It's just the stupidest shit. <laughs> this is so bad. I like the boom, boom, boom. Okay, I think I've heard enough of this one. Uh, I would like to get two of the Banjo Amiibos, actually, so I can open one and keep the other one in the box. Are we having fun yet? I'd like to get those notes, I just, I can't fucking tell where I'm going. Okay, hold on, here's a thing. Like, every time I see John Wick, all I think of is Michael Vick. Like, because I don't know what John Wick is, and I think I asked during the E3 stream and got an answer and then immediately forgot it. All 
Alright. Was that everything in here? I'm not seeing any other notes. I think I'm gonna just head out. Let's go. Where, where is exit? Where is exit? I don't know. I mean, Star Fox is, has kind of just been dead. Like, I feel like they should just kind of let it be. They, they've tried so hard to revive it, and it's never really worked. So, like, like, I like Star Fox 64 a lot, but they've just, they've never managed to make one as good as that. And so, like, I think they can just leave it dead and, like, try to bring back F-Zero or something. And then, like, maybe, tr yeah, like, worry about Star Fox maybe in, like, another five, ten years. Okay, so... I'm noticing the, uh, recycled Witchy World graphics. Have I been in that dome thing up there? I don't think I have. Gobi's Valley Instruments. Star Fox Adventures Remake. Uh, I'm thinking we don't really need one of those. I didn't hate Star Fox Zero, but I've never felt a need to go back to it. Yeah, it's like, there's been other racing games that have the, like, futuristic going thousand miles an hour thing. So, it's, like, I'm surprised that they haven't just slapped the F-Zero licensing onto one of those, but... Apparently, Nintendo has gone on record saying that they can't think of any good, good ideas for the series. I don't really know. It's weird. Because I never really played it. The only one I've ever touched was the... GameCube one, which was way too goddamn hard, and I wasn't that big of a fan of it. So, it, like, if they bring it back, like, I'm not saying they should bring it back because I want it, I'm just saying they should bring it back because I know other people want it, and because it's been dead for, like, 15 years. Damn it. Man, I'm loving these slippery surfaces. What the fuck? Like, there was a note up there. I don't know how you get it, though. Unless I was supposed to come in here with the termite. I've yet to see, uh, any sign of Mumbo, either. I like Fast Racing Neo, that's a good name. <laughs> Well, if this is Fungi Forest, we need the music for it. Let me, uh, let me see if I can find it. I have to black stuff out because I don't know what I'm going to be showing here. Uh, get rid of the chat for a minute. I, guess I think I still have it on my free webs. Who is Kazooie? Yeah, beans. 
Yep, here we go. Probably not fall off of this. Oh, good. I can't even freaking see that platform. Uh, this is Fungus Forest from Banjo-Kazooie. It's not actually a real song, but I'll explain it in a minute. I think I got everything from there. Probably go ahead and link to this song. There's an interesting history behind this song. I'm just waiting for it to finish for me to explain it. Oh, phone call. Okay, let me uh, mute real quick here. Okay, we're back. I didn't really have to mute that. It was just Martin saying he got out of work and asking if I wanted food. All right. Anyway, uh, that song. So yeah, if you uh, if you don't know about like obscure banjo history, which most people probably don't. Um, it was mentioned in the chat earlier, but, uh, Fungus Forest was originally supposed to be a level from the first Banjo-Kazooie, and it got scrapped, and then they basically made Fungi Forest for DK64, which may or may not have any similarities to the original level, but good. Um, the original theming was at least borrowed. And so, back in the, uh, the heyday of Stop and Swap theorizing, and, like, people coming up with fake shit and just kind of causing general mayhem. Um, there was a particular leak that I don't remember who was in charge of. I don't think this was the one by Cool Boy Man. Uh, cool Boy Man being the maker of Pokemon Brown and Pokemon Prism. Because um, he also was involved with a very involved Stop and Swap hoax, but... Um, there was one that uh, basically said, like, if you beat Banjo-Tooie 100% within five hours, you can unlock the Stop and Swap, and uh, it unlocks Fungi Forest for 
the original game, and that song was allegedly the song that played in the level, and it was given as, like, proof. Because, like, the guy said, like, I don't want to show any footage of the level, I don't want to spoil it, but here's what the music sounds like. And he had that track playing, but, like, recorded... Like, the, he had it... He like, was, like, basically, like, recording that, sh like, with banjo jumping and, like, flapping and stuff, so it sounded like it was actual gameplay. And then released the full song later on after revealing that it was fake. Um, this was back from, like, God, like, 2004, probably. Um, it was one of the better hoaxes. I just thought it was kind of interesting, so I've kind of held on to that song ever since, because I don't know if it's really saved anywhere. But yeah, the Cool Boy Man one was, uh, weird, because Rare actually got in on that one. There was, like, he was basically claiming that there was a, uh, Um, claiming that there were, like, other secret eggs in Tui. There was, like, an orange egg and I think, like, a brown one and a silver one. I don't remember. Um, and at that time, Rare was also releasing a remake of Jetpack, their, like, old arcade game. Not arcade, but it was, like, ZX Spectrum. Um, and they released a screenshot of it showing the high scoreboard. And the high scores were by Cool Boy Man and Orange Egg. So people are like, oh shit. They're, he, this is actually real. Rare's admitting it. But they were just in on the joke, basically, and kind of put fuel on the fire. It was pretty great. Okay, so I am missing one note. I would like to get said note. I don't know if it's in this main area or one of the sub areas, because I've not been counting how many I've collected. Extract music from the game. That's kind of interesting. Because, um, I mean, there was also the Game Grumps thing where he was talking about, like, the original Mumbo's Mountain song. Uh, well, Cyan and Yellow Eggs were already in the first game, and the Yellow Egg was also in 2A. I'm not sure what the Crimson would be compared to the red one. Who else was in Grinch Lake? Um, Gino is unlikely. Skull Kid was debatable. People thought they saw him in there, but I'd say he's unlikely. Uh, Chorus Kids are already a spirit. Mox Rider's a spirit. I mean, Gino's a spirit, too. Um, Isaac's an assist trophy. Probably not. I'd say maybe Isaac, but they'd have to, like... They've never, like promoted an assist trophy within the same game before. Okay, I don't know where I'm going. I need to, uh... I need to check these areas again. Which is annoying, because I don't want to keep retreading the same ground, but I would like to get all 25. I'm missing a honeycomb, too, apparently. After I clear this area out, I, um, well, I guess Martin will be home with the food, and we'll probably eat, and then might stream to a later. I don't know. This is impressive for being a first hack of this game, but it's not that fun, unfortunately. I really hate to say that. If an assist trophy becomes a DLC character, who do you think it would be? Honestly, probably Isaac. I'd say he's probably the most deserving. There's a lot of good picks, though. I like Skull Kid. I don't give a shit about Shadow, but I could see him being playable. Um, Samurai Goro, just for the sake of having enough, another F-Zero character, even though he'd be another sortie. I guess same for Lin, but we don't really need another Fire Emblem. Uh, 
I'd have to look at the list of all the assists. I don't remember them all. Okay, where is Area 2? Because I know I've obviously been in it, but I just don't remember where it is. Oh, it's... Okay, here's the last note. Nice. Missing a honeycomb, but I think I'm going to be okay with that for right now and move on. Uh, Black Shadow, I think you mean. Uh, Black Bull, I think, is the name of his car. But yeah. Like, the old argument during, like, the pre-release days of Brawl was that they should make Black Shadow inherit Ganondorf's moveset and then give Ganondorf a new one. But now that Ganon's kind of, like, decloned enough, they probably wouldn't do that. Like, he still has some leftovers from the Falcon moveset, but it's... It's distinct enough. They just... I, I wish they'd give him the, the energy ball attack. Then it would pretty much be perfect. Okay, so we still can't swim. Yeah, make it, like, Mr. EAD or something. Or the skeleton dude. Uh, that's fine, Alpha. Just be aware that I'm... Or... Oh, I guess Polar. Okay, never mind. Um... But, yeah, I, uh... Might not be going too much longer with this game, actually, but we'll see. cloud. <laughs> yeah, that's just, it's Octo Man. I know some of the F Zero characters just from various trophies and spirits. But that's about it. Oh, are they doing an FF8 remaster? I didn't know that. Or actually, no. I think I did see someone mention that, but I didn't pay attention to it. Do I have enough moves for this stage? God, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just kind of wandering. Uh, no, Banjo has four fingers, if you're talking about the, the ultimate render. Which means that he is offensive in Japan. Because apparently that's a thing. Anyway, I still need the note on top of this, but, uh... This Teehee is slightly obnoxious. So when am I gonna get, like, eggs? Or the Beak Buster. Is Gomar and Shio the weird, like, conjoined twin thing? No, we should just get Mr. Hiktaw and Imag as an Echo Fighter. nipples to be offensive. I thought that Japan didn't have a problem with showing nipples, it's just that they have to blur out genitalia. There's too many birds. What, Falco, the Duck Hunt Duck, and Kazooie? Is there another one that I'm forgetting? Yeah, cool. I mean, I'd say they're probably correct for not liking underage smoking. Will you stop fucking falling off of this thing? Oh my god.
Yeah, I mean, if you have better suggestions where to go, I'm all ears. Because there's the beach level, which I don't think I've gotten any new moves since then. Dude, get up there. Oh, okay. So does that mean that uh, bats and flying insects are also verbs? We do need a hadoo. I, I I think it's a damn crime that there's no hadoo in the New Donk City stage. I was like, I, I was looking forward to there being some hadoos in the background, and there never was. Climb that, please. I feel like I need to be doing that. What move did I get in the beach stage? Uh, Talon Trot, I think. There's big Hadoos in Mario Maker 2. I mean, I know there's uh, Yamamura. Does he show up outside of, like, tutorials? And no, I've not seen Spies in Disguise. I don't think I'm going to. I will appreciate... The fact that it is, uh, bringing the pigeons back to the peeps, but, uh, other than that, I don't think it's a movie I really need to see. How did I never get that? I can't wait for the point where I find Mumbo for the first time, and he's like, here, give me 50 tokens, and you can turn into the termite. I want to explore this stage anymore, like... How many notes do I have? Only seven. Yeah, I... I mean, let me see what the next requirement even is, because I, I th thought that I just kind of dead-ended in the, like, hub. I like how none of the areas... Well, I guess they have names, so they don't have names on the pause screen, so I don't remember what they are. Looks like that's probably the next way to go down there. Um, what's in this door, though? Yes, thank you, Lago. Okay, I've definitely been in here. definitely climbed up this before. I'm just making sure that I... Okay, yeah, that's the actual level. I don't have flight. Uh, where else would progress be? Looks like this area kind of dead ends. Can't ground pound. Okay. Yeah, I think I... I don't think I can go anywhere else without being able to swim, so... There must be a move somewhere that I've missed. Either the swimming or the ground pound. Yeah, I listened to that. I feel like I explored the beach pretty well, but I'm not sure. How did I get stuck? I 
mean, I can go back to the beach, but... Yeah, I don't know. So, I would be leaving this area with 12 if I get them all. Yeah, I mean, I have to always remember that I walked past Trouser like 800 times in ukulele without noticing him, so... I'm not always the most observant. I try the bathrooms? What do you mean? What do you mean? Carl, you're talking shit again. Also, Carl, what are you talking about, mate? There's no such thing as baked beans. Terrible, terrible Stephen Merchant impression, but I can't really do accents that well. Okay, I was looking at the chat and not paying attention to what I'm doing. Yeah, I'll go back. I guess I'm, I'm like I'm already here, so I'm gonna try to get my notes up as high as possible. But I know I'm not gonna be able to finish the level, so there's not really that much of a point. And I was supposed to get 12 in here, so I'm still already messing one near the center of the level on a deck thing. Okay. Let me try to get up to the top of this one more time. Okay, just don't jump, I guess. That's fine. Where is last note? There it is. Uh, see, I, I feel like most of the remixes are all are pretty good. I don't... I mean, there's songs that I've never really pay that much attention to, but all the ones I've, like, gone out of my way to listen to have usually been good. Let's just keep dying. Okay, um... Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm making, like, negative amounts of progress because I just spent five minutes getting notes in there and I'm just gonna have to get them again later anyway, but I kinda don't want to explore the rest of this level knowing that I can't get everything, so let's just go to the beach, if I can remember where that is again. I need to leave this level and then... Where's, where's the exit? It's like over here, right? I'm probably going to switch to Tui. I'm just, at this point, I'm just waiting until uh, Martin comes home with Dolans, and then I will eat said Dolans, and then I can stream that. Yeah, getting stuck on shit, yeah. Well, I'd like to find your next world. What the hell is Dolan? I was waiting for someone to ask. Uh, Dolan's is just what we call McDonald's. I don't know, like, I just called it that once and the name stuck. Uh, like I was saying before, I'd honestly be fine with pretty much any song they put in, but, uh... A Grunty's Lair remix, or, like, the final battle against Grunty from the first game would be, like, fairly dope. Pretty much all the songs in the series are good, though. The only ones that are kind of, like, not as interesting are, like, Clanker's Cavern, Maya Hem Temple. I mean, Maya Hem Temple's fine, it's just not, like, the best. The problem is just a lot of them wouldn't really fit the stage, but I don't think that's stopped them before. Is dope an awful word? Yes, that's why I used it.
I don't believe I saw that now. Have I actually been here? Hold on. This seems new. Oh yeah, no, never mind. I have been here. I, I, I like the phrase, the dopest shit. So I will use that. Or I'll just say like, damn, that's cold, y'all. Stop. There's a ramp. There's the bathrooms. I get there from here? Yeah. There is a ramp, that's true. Yeah, cool, dying. Banjo and Smash is the dopest shit. The wiggity miggity wackest mackest dopio. God, I like felt I, I felt myself getting whiter the more I said that. Okay, well. I do not have Beak Barge, and I actually forgot that that was a move, because it's, like, never used. It's used occasionally in the first game. It's used, like, twice in 2 -E. I like how people just put these frickin' mines inside these jacuzzis here. Okay, can I jump off the umbrella to that area over there? That looks like a yes. Have I done this? I don't remember what I've already tried. This might be new. Oh shit, I think this is it. Okay, we can now swim. We could have made this progress half an hour ago. was like fully unlocked. Man, that's some good clipping there. Okay, so back to the hub and we'll progress and at least see what the next level looks like. having to remember where the level entrance actually is, because it's usually not advertised very well. I, th I know it's somewhere around here. Give me like 20 minutes and I'll find it. Mm. Is it this build now? I did walk past it. Well, God damn it. I don't know where it is. trying. Like, it is in this area, right? Oh, it's just right here. Okay. see brown bricks. Um, I've never watched Survivor or really any other reality show. 
Not really my jam. I did see, like, a couple minutes of fear factor that made me want to die. I know that that's not really the same thing. Yeah, you have to get them all in one go. Next world's probably going to be something dark. And, uh, I'm going to guess... Snow level. Okay, so far not looking like snow level. I feel like this room didn't really need to exist. Just making sure there's nothing in here. Oh. Guess what? Didn't I didn't I predict the snow level in ukulele too? Not that it's really that hard to guess, because a lot of games have a snow level, but I just I happened to guess it at the right time. Yeah, I usually like the animation better. Part of it is the fact that I just, I usually prefer comedy over like pretty much any other genre. And I just grew up with a lot of cartoons. And part of it is also that uh, I am notoriously bad at like distinguishing faces. Like, given enough time, it won't be that big of an issue. But. Like, for the first few episodes of watching any show, it will t I will not remember who people are. So, it it's easier with animation. Okay, so let's see. For new move in this level, I'm going to guess probably Ground Pound makes the most sense. Also, let's just die. I don't think I actually lost a life there, though. Um, so yeah, probably Ground Pound, and if we're getting two moves, then I'm gonna say... Probably Beak Barge, but I'm hoping Eggs. I would... Oh yeah, and Flight, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of Flight Pads. That was a particularly easy to find on your base. gonna do a stupid trick, but I forgot I don't have the ground pound. What if I got the beak bomb before flight? That would be good. Yeah, I'm looking for them. They'll show up eventually. Also, this place is, like, decidedly Chinese looking. I like the rainbow walls, though. That's cool. Yeah, falling. Cool. Some of you are black, some of you are white. You're silver, and you're brown. But I don't care if you're... I forget what the line is. He's like, I don't care if you're something orange or Chinese. Like, I, I, I like the way he says Chinese. And both of them are gone. That reminds me, I saw this, uh... I found this, like, super racist, uh like, Chinaman plush at Goodwill a while back. It was probably, like, over a year ago. Totally should have gotten that. Can we die to ice? Can we die to ice a little bit more? Dead. Alright. Should probably just go in the temple. I doubt the game actually wants me to jump from over here, but we're going to find out if that's even possible. Okay. 
Okay, I don't know if that was intended. But you know what? We're here and I'm gonna do it. I actually don't know what that little jingle was from. Like, I've seen a lot of memes that do that song, and then the ones that are like, wah, 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 which I think is Eric, Eric Andre show, but I don't know what the other one is. Anyway, Joel is not fighting in the Indochina war. He got back like a week ago. He is just currently at the work. Well, I'm not going to be able to deal with these assholes, but I don't know if I'm expected to either. <laughs> Yeah, there's actually been a surprising lack of, like, hazardous fluids in this game. Because Banjo-Kazooie had that in three levels in a row. Actually, more than that. Because Clanker's Cavern had a little bit of it. Then Bubble Gloop, Freeze Easy Peak, and Gobi's Valley all had a bunch of it. And then Mad Monster Mansion didn't really, like, it had some weird shit in, like, the section with all the, like, I don't know what you call that section with all the walls and, like, the gates that you break down. And then Rusty Bucket had acid. So, yeah. Clinker's Cavern didn't have death water, it just had, like, this weird acid in the area with, like, the meaty snippets. Time to take a piss. No, because the hedge maze was different. There's the hedge maze area, and then there's the, like, section with the well. Okay, that's, that's death water. And let's go in it again for good measure. Oh, it didn't hurt you in there? Okay, never mind then. Yeah, falling down! Sorry, just gotta do that once in a while. The snowballs aren't that hard to dodge, you just gotta keep moving. So how was I supposed to get up here? Did I actually do this correct? Uh, Banjo-Tooie has, like, the sludge shit in several levels. It's in Mayahem, uh, Pterodactylan, Grunty's Industries. I think that's it. Some of Isle of Hags. Did not even notice that. Then obviously Hailfire has the lava. Uh, I feel like I didn't want to do that. See, I figured that was going to be breakable. I am uh, disappointed that it is not. Ooh, it's my best friend, the squawking bird. And of course we get the cutscene for killing it. <laughs> I don't get why that cutscene exists. I just like how it was part of a frickin' stop and swap conspiracy along with everything else. Uh... Okay, that was actually pretty cool. I'm surprised I pulled that off. <laughs> Hot bees. Can I get up there? Donkey Kong 64 2. God, no. No, if they made a DK64 that toned it down a bit, I'd be fine with that. And I still don't even hate the original. Like, I think it's actually a decent game, it's just 
also kind of jank. So it's, it's not something I really like to uh, replay that often. Oh, there was an opening in the house. I didn't see it. Um, his final smash being stop and swap would be interesting, but I don't know what that would do. It would be cool to see a callback to it. Eh. <laughs> That's a good noise. Um, everybody missed my reaction to the direct. I was having technical issues. Okay, hold. I'm not. I'm paying too much attention to the chat. If you could buy only one Pokemon game, would it be Sword or Shield? Are you asking like which of those two I would pick, or are you saying like if I could only ever have one, would it be one of those two, or would it be something else? because I, I don't really have an answer to the second question. But uh, I'm probably going to get Shield just because I usually go for the second version. And I also feel like... Um, they're, like Some of the games, when they have like the two versions, they're relatively equal. And in some of them, one of them is like clearly the much cooler sounding option. Like I, I, I got Pearl because... Everybody got diamond, and I wanted to be different, and, like, I feel like it's going to be the same thing here. Like, everybody's going to get sword, because well, why wouldn't you? Jet blow! Yeah, jet blow is pretty good. And now I get hit by every snowball after I said that it was easy to dodge this. Also, this area reminds me of the uh, Snow Peak Temple from. What the hell is blocking me? I guess that's class. Ah, uh, the temple from Twilight Princess. There is a house. Okay. <laughs> In stereo now. Uh, yeah, they usually they usually go over a few version exclusives. Black and White did, like, um, Solosis versus Gothita. X and Y did, uh, Swirlix and Spritzy. I think it might have also done Skrelp and Crunt Launcher. I don't remember if Sun and Moon did today. They probably did. Yeah, they, they at least did for the Alolan forms, and I think, like, Drampa and Turbinator. Yeah, there's, there's a few of them here. Anyway, version exclusives are pointless, because just trade, bruh. Lol. The answer to every single Pokemon question. Where do I find Feebas? Just trade for it, bruh. But, but I want to know where to get one. Doesn't matter. It's it just... I, I can give you one for, for nothing. Just, it's fine. Uh, what direction are you saying the imbalance is for Drampa versus Turtonator? Because I think they're both cool. I've not used Turtonator, though. Oh, yeah, the placement is a little bit ass. One note. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was a lot of work for one note. Yeah, I forgot about Score Bunny being part fighting. It's not confirmed, but it's very, very heavily implied. Luckily, I liked Sobble more anyway. 
I usually don't go with water starters, but I think I'm probably going to do that this time around. Yeah, I'm actually okay with Embor. It's not the best fire starter. In fact, I'd say that it is probably one of the worst, but I still think it's okay. Alright, let's see if this works. Nope. That's fine. Uh, Grookey's okay. I have to see what its evolutions look like, though. It's I find its color is a little bit garish. But, um... It's, uh, it's my second favorite. Score, Score Bunny is my least favorite. Sobble's my most. I'm not, like, massively in love with any of the starters, though. I think they're just kind of okay. What if Grookey evolves into a firefighting? Not a grass fighting, a firefighting. And I've made this joke before, but there totally needs to be a region set in Canada where we have a grass moose starter that becomes part ice, a water beaver starter that becomes part ice, and a uh, fire something animal that just becomes pure ice. I don't know what the other animal would be. Where's the other opening? I'm tr trying to notice it. And I'm failing a little bit. Right there. Where? Where? I don't see it! What, this? Where is it? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't see it. Okay. Can I get to that? I don't know how to get up there. Yeah, I mean, I see it now. I'm trying. I have to go around the building and jump down to it, probably. Uh, given those two options, Gen 4 Remake, definitely. I still haven't played the Let's Go games, and I probably want to at some point. Hello. Various brown bricks and brown brick related activities. Probably. I'm streaming Ban Banjo Dreamy, though. Also, Clown Vomit. Yeah, you cook. Okay. Mother called, so that's why she's so For Mother Volcano Big Mate. Hello, Chad. The bottom bricks are exploding twice. Nobody involved. Okay, um. I guess I, I kind of want to get into this. I don't know how I get up there other than going around the entire level and making that weird jump again. So I think I'm gonna actually not. <laughs> Plus I said I kinda wanted to stop to eat anyway. Let me at least see what the uh, inside of the temple looks like and then I will probably stop here. What do you mean it's e Like, What was I supposed to do? I saw no way to get up there. I don't know what you're wanting me to do. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna starve. Is this just the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull? What the hell is this? 
Eat Garfield. Eat. Eat Garfield. Eat. Eat Garfield. Eat. Eat Garfield. Eat. Eat Garfield. There's no food left in the entire world, but I'm still hungry. There's just a uh, nothing in here. I'm noticing. Probably have to ground pound here. I am less racist against trading Pokemon than I used to be. I still think that people rely on it too much, but it's not that big of a deal. I am. Just give me a minute. Uh, Banjo Dreamy it is a ROM hack from a while back. How is it? Mm -hmm. uh, it's early. It doesn't have jiggies, okay. so like you collect notes and you have to get them all in one life or else you lose them, and you can't get them all on the first trip into each level. So it's kind of like a Metroid. It's like a Metroidvania that is also kind of just bad. Like, I don't know. It, it's not that bad, but it, it's... Because you have to, like, you have to get enough notes with what you have in order to access another level to get a move to go back and get more notes. But you have to recollect them each time. So it's a little annoying. I'll do that in a minute. I was going to be done streaming here in a sec. So I'm probably just going to switch to 2 if that's alright. Um... I can, uh, there's a couple other things announced in the direct that, unless you've looked anything up, you would probably be interested in. Um, all I saw was the trailer up to where they started showing game footage that I stopped watching. For what? Ninja. Oh, that was it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't really care about the in-game footage, I just wanted to see what the reveal was like. Plus, that's all I had time for. <laughs> yeah. Car. Okay, right here. Yeah, that was mentioned earlier in the stream, and I find that obnoxious. You can't transfer the Pokemon. Which is really weird, because they have that Pokemon Home thing now that, like, brings everything together, so I don't know why they would do that. No, like, you bring it together now. Hmm? They don't want you to bring it together enough. Now, the thing is, like... I massively disagreed with the way that Sun and Moon handled it, where there was, like, half of the decks unavailable and no national decks in the game, so there was, like, if you want to have a full collection, you have to send, like, 300 things through bank, and there's no, like, incentive to do so. This is, like, the next logical step to that, and it's, yeah. Yeah. I guess it's just that the number of Pokemon has gotten high enough to where they don't expect anyone to really do it. So my social anxiety was, like, so bad at McDonald's for some reason today. Okay, then. That I wanted the chicken strips, and I said the number for what I thought were the chicken strips. But it's the better milk, uh, like, crispy chicken sandwich. And then it was too late. I couldn't change. <laughs> so I got like a sandwich. Like, after there. placing the order, but no, before no, getting like, it? I, I, no, like, the order wasn't done yet. I could have said I didn't mean that, but I didn't for some weird reason. Mm. And I don't know why. But, which is fine, I mean, I don't, I don't mind the sandwich, it's just not what I expected. So, it was just really dumb, and I don't know why. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Yeah, it is ridiculously hot in here. It's just, it was freezing before I turned the air off, and I never want to actually touch the thermostat. Just, they were busy, so. and I didn't want to hold the line. Hold the line! Hold the line! <clears throat> what do we got? Ground pound? Alright, cool. The, um, 
Her design seems interesting. Yeah, it's not up oh, or snide. Um, it's not bad. It doesn't it's, look. Um, it, it's definitely it's definitely rom hacky. Yeah, but, but it doesn't, uh, like whenever you play Mario sixty four hacks, you can just really tell. But this looks okay. Like yeah. just at first glance. Okay. So we'll see if I'll come back to this game eventually. I think I'm done with it for now, though. Um, I'm gonna eat and then probably to a maybe. I actually don't know if I will. But uh, how do I actually get out of here? It's okay. I'll do the temple next time. It'll still be there, unless there is no next time, in which case we'll never do it. Uh, just clown vomit. But anyway, yeah, um, I'll announce if I come back. I might just die and turn into a potato, you never know. That's true, the texture but, uh, look stretched. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, tip your waitresses.